In a world that often prioritizes instant connection and constant communication, the act of choosing to ignore someone can feel counterintuitive. However, this deliberate silence can serve as a powerful tool for personal growth and relationship transformation. It's not about playing games or seeking revenge. Rather, it's a profound statement about your self-worth, emotional independence, and mastery over your own life. When you take a step back and allow space to exist in your relationships, you embark on a journey of self-discovery. This journey enables you to reclaim your emotional energy, gain clarity on your values, and understand the dynamics at play in your interactions. In essence, ignoring someone intentionally creates an opportunity for you to prioritize your well-being and assert your boundaries. Drawing from the wisdom of Stoicism, this practice can lead to profound insights about yourself and those around you. Stoic philosophy teaches us that true happiness comes from within, urging us to cultivate inner strength rather than seeking validation from others. By embracing this philosophy, you learn that you are enough as you are and that your self-worth is not contingent upon the attention or approval of anyone else. In this video, we will explore 10 transformative effects of choosing silence and space in your relationships. From building patience and self-discipline to revealing true intentions, these principles will not only impact how others perceive you, but also enhance your own sense of dignity and value. The journey we'll embark on together is one of empowerment, encouraging you to take control of your emotional landscape and engage with the world from a position of strength and authenticity. So, let's dive deep into the power of silence and discover how this intentional act can reshape your life and relationships for the better. Number one, the power of silence. Silence holds a transformative power that goes far beyond simply manipulating someone's attention. It's an opportunity to recalibrate your emotional state and practice self-discipline. In a world where noise is constant, taking the time to embrace silence creates space for introspection. It allows you to detach from the external chatter and reconnect with your inner thoughts, uncovering insights that are often drowned out by the distractions of daily life. Silence isn't just an escape, it's a tool for mastery. When you choose silence over impulsive reactions, you train your mind to control emotions rather than be controlled by them. It becomes a form of mental exercise where restraint and patience are practiced. With silence, you can evaluate your next move thoughtfully rather than being swayed by the immediate pull of emotions or circumstances. This discipline of silence enables you to grow more resilient. Instead of reacting to the world, you begin responding on your terms. The power of silence is found in its ability to center you, to ground you in self-awareness, and to give you the upper hand when everything else is in chaos. Silence is strength, a quiet confidence that speaks louder than any words ever could. Number two, she starts questioning your value. Constant attention can easily slip into the mundane, turning something that once seemed valuable into a routine. When you withdraw that attention, it forces the other person to pause and re-evaluate. Suddenly, what they took for granted now seems uncertain, making them question not only your presence, but your absence. In this space, they may come to realize that your value isn't in your constant availability, but in the strength of your character and the energy you bring. This dynamic reinforces a core stoic principle. Your self-worth is not defined by the perceptions of others, nor should it depend on external validation. By stepping back, you're affirming that your value stands independently of anyone else's attention or approval. You refuse to be defined by the whims of others, choosing instead to focus on your own growth, discipline and purpose. In this way, withdrawing attention isn't about playing games. It's about staying true to yourself and maintaining your integrity, regardless of how others perceive you. 
Number three, you gain emotional control. Stepping back from the chaos of constant engagement provides emotional clarity and a much needed sense of detachment. It frees you from the exhausting cycle of reactivity where every emotion pulls you in different directions. Instead, you gain the space to observe your feelings objectively without being consumed by them. This emotional distance is not about shutting yourself off, it's about gaining control over how you respond to external events. With emotional detachment, you no longer act impulsively or out of desperation. You begin to operate from a place of strength and reason where decisions are thoughtful, measured and purposeful. Instead of being swayed by every momentary urge or emotion, you choose your actions with intent. This control over your emotions not only makes you more resilient, but also more disciplined, allowing you to stay grounded in any situation. Emotional mastery isn't just about being calm. It's about having the power to dictate your response, no matter what comes your way. Number four, her desire for you increases. Absence has a way of creating mystery, and with mystery comes renewed interest. When you're no longer constantly present, the sense of scarcity can naturally rekindle attraction. What was once taken for granted becomes something to be desired again. This shift isn't about playing games or manipulation, it's a reflection of a simple truth. Value often increases when it's not always available. By stepping back, you allow her to appreciate what she had in a new light. When you're not always there, she has the space to reflect on what you bring to the relationship, which can reignite her desire. This reinforces the understanding that your worth isn't tied to your constant availability, but to the unique qualities and presence you offer when you do engage. It's a reminder that sometimes less is more, and scarcity has its own powerful allure. Number five, she may seek validation. As the distance between you grows, it's natural for her to seek your attention once more. When something that was once constant starts to fade, people often feel the need to regain that sense of security. This pull for validation is a reaction to the absence, a way to close the emotional gap that has been created. However, in these moments, it's crucial to maintain your emotional discipline. Don't rush to react or immediately give in to the attention-seeking behavior. Stay grounded and keep your responses measured and intentional. Emotional control means not letting someone else dictate your actions or influence your sense of worth. By holding your ground, you reinforce the understanding that your value doesn't hinge on their need for validation, but on the strength and balance you've cultivated within yourself. Letting her chase without immediately rewarding that behavior can strengthen the dynamic and keep you in control of your own emotions. Number six, you reinforce your independence. When you choose to step back and ignore someone, done with purpose and not out of spite, it serves as a powerful affirmation of your independence. It signals to both you and others that you are not relying on constant attention or validation to feel whole. This is an important lesson in personal growth. Recognizing that your value does not depend on someone else's acknowledgement, but on your own inner strength and sense of self-worth. In relationships, especially those where emotions can cloud judgment, this step back reasserts that you are self-sufficient. You are not a slave to the need for approval, nor do you feel the need to chase affection. By intentionally withdrawing, you demonstrate that you are in control of your emotions and your happiness comes from within, not from external sources. This choice to maintain distance can often lead the other person to reassess their view of you, not because you are manipulating their perception, but because you are reinforcing the notion that your identity is grounded in independence. Stoic philosophy teaches that true happiness is found within that external circumstances, including relationships, are outside of your control. What you can control is your own mind, your own reactions, and your own sense of self. By reinforcing your independence, you live in accordance with this principle. You do not need anyone else to complete you, because you are already complete. You possess everything you need to be content, 
your virtues, your discipline, your sense of purpose. This independence also creates space for genuine connection rather than one based on neediness or insecurity. When you don't depend on someone else to feel fulfilled, you approach relationships from a place of strength. You're able to give freely without the expectation of receiving validation in return. You understand that your value isn't diminished by someone's absence, nor is it inflated by their presence. You stand firm in the knowledge that you are enough, regardless of whether someone else recognizes it or not. Moreover, this reinforces the stoic ideal of self-mastery. When you are emotionally independent, you are less likely to be swayed by external forces. You don't react impulsively out of fear of losing someone, nor do you cling to situations that no longer serve you. You are anchored in your own purpose, driven by your own internal compass rather than the fleeting opinions of others. By choosing to ignore when necessary, you cultivate an inner fortitude that strengthens your sense of autonomy. In a world that often equates constant interaction with connection, stepping back can feel counterintuitive. But in reality, it's a move that sets you apart, showing that you are not afraid to prioritize your own well-being and peace of mind. It takes courage to break the cycle of attention-seeking and validation, but in doing so, you not only reinforce your independence, you deepen your understanding of what it means to be truly self-sufficient. At its core, this practice reminds you that relationships are part of life, but they are not the foundation of it. Your happiness, your fulfillment, and your sense of purpose come from within, not from the approval or attention of others. You are enough as you are, complete in your virtues, discipline, and personal strength. By living this truth, you set the stage for deeper, more meaningful relationships built on mutual respect rather than dependence. Number seven, she begins to respect your boundaries. When you make the conscious decision to choose when and how to engage with someone, you assert your boundaries in a powerful and unmistakable way. This communicates both to her and to yourself that your time, energy and mental space are valuable, not to be given away freely or without thought. By setting these boundaries, you're practicing self-respect, a key component of self-mastery and emotional balance. Boundaries aren't about avoiding communication or distancing yourself unnecessarily. They're about engaging on your terms in a way that preserves your emotional well-being. This shows that you are not reactive or desperate for attention. Instead, you remain in control of how and when you invest your time in others. By defining these limits, you send a clear message that you value yourself and expect others to value you as well. Over time, she will come to respect these boundaries, recognizing that your attention is earned, not demanded. In relationships, Boundaries are essential for maintaining balance and mutual respect. Without them, it's easy to fall into a pattern where one person constantly overextends themselves, leading to resentment and burnout. By setting your own limits, you ensure that you aren't pouring your energy into someone else at the expense of your own needs. This form of self-respect becomes a model for how others should treat you, and it invites her to adjust her behaviour accordingly. Over time, she will begin to understand that your boundaries are not about withholding affection or creating distance for the sake of control, but about maintaining your emotional stability and protecting your sense of self. This dynamic can shift the way she interacts with you, fostering a deeper respect for the time and energy you do give. Instead of expecting constant availability, she will learn to appreciate the quality of your engagement recognizing that your involvement is intentional and valuable. This also empowers you to prioritize your own needs and goals. By maintaining your boundaries, you ensure that you're not sacrificing your personal development for the sake of someone else's demands. You're able to stay focused on your own growth while still being present in your relationship in a way that aligns with your values and purpose. You're not just giving blindly, you're giving from a place of abundance and strength. Ultimately, 
Boundaries are a form of self-care, and in time, they can enhance the quality of your relationships. As she comes to respect the limits you set, the dynamic between you becomes healthier and more balanced. There is less room for manipulation or unhealthy dependence, and more room for mutual respect and understanding. You're not constantly reacting to her needs, but engaging in a way that honors your own. By asserting your boundaries, you create a space where respect grows naturally. You show her that you won't bend to every whim, that you have a strong sense of self that doesn't waver based on someone else's actions. This strength is attractive and commands respect as it demonstrates that you are a man who knows his worth and won't compromise his values or well-being for anyone else. In the end, setting and maintaining boundaries isn't just about protecting yourself. It's about fostering healthier, more meaningful relationships. When you engage on your terms, you preserve your emotional well-being and over time, she will not only respect your boundaries but appreciate the strength and self-respect they represent. Number eight, it reveals her true intentions. Distance has a way of stripping away the superficial layers of any relationship, revealing the true nature of the connection. When you create space and are no longer immediately available, her response will often tell you everything you need to know about her intentions. If she truly values you and the relationship, she will make an effort to bridge the gap, to maintain the connection, and to show that her interest goes beyond just surface level attraction. This is a strong indicator of mutual respect and genuine emotional investment. On the other hand, if her interest fades when you're no longer constantly present, it's a sign that her intentions may have been shallow or based on convenience rather than a real connection. This period of distance allows you to see her true priorities. It forces both of you to reflect on what the relationship means beyond the immediate gratification of attention or affection. If she pulls away or shows little effort when you're not available at her beck and call, it becomes clear that her attachment may have been more about your presence than your person. This clarity is invaluable. It saves you from investing your time, energy and emotions into a relationship that lacks depth or mutual respect. Instead of being caught up in the illusion of connection, you're able to assess whether the relationship is built on genuine care, shared values and mutual effort. If her intentions prove to be shallow, it allows you to move on, freeing yourself to invest in relationships that offer real meaning and authenticity. In Stoic philosophy, the pursuit of clarity and truth is central. You seek to understand things as they are, not as you wish them to be. This approach applies just as much to relationships. Emotional distance gives you the perspective you need to see the situation clearly, unclouded by the daily interactions that might otherwise keep you engaged in something that doesn't serve your best interests. If she makes the effort to maintain the relationship, you know that her interest goes beyond the surface. It's rooted in a deeper appreciation for who you are. This effort, especially in the face of distance, speaks to her sincerity and the value she places on the connection. It shows that she respects your independence and boundaries while still valuing your presence in her life. In contrast, if she drifts away when you're no longer constantly available, you're spared from further emotional investment in a relationship that lacks depth. This detachment is not a loss. It's a gain in clarity and self-respect. You free yourself from the trap of one-sided attachment and you open up the possibility of investing in relationships that are truly reciprocal, where your time, effort and emotional energy are met with the same from the other side. This process is liberating. It allows you to cultivate relationships that align with your values, where both people are equally invested, rather than one person constantly giving and the other passively receiving. Distance reveals intentions, and those intentions help you build stronger, more meaningful connections based on respect, mutual effort, and genuine care. Number nine, you build patience and self-discipline. 
resisting the urge to respond immediately in any situation cultivates two essential virtues, patience and self-discipline. These qualities are at the heart of Stoic philosophy, which emphasizes the importance of controlling one's reactions and maintaining composure in the face of external pressures. By consciously choosing to hold back instead of reacting impulsively, you train your mind to approach challenges with a sense of calm and clarity. The practice of emotional restraint not only strengthens your ability to control your impulses in relationships, but also extends to various aspects of your life, including work and personal goals. When you resist the temptation to respond immediately to provocation or emotional triggers, you develop a greater understanding of your own reactions. You begin to realize that not every situation requires an immediate response and that taking a step back can lead to more thoughtful and effective communication. With time, the practice of patience fosters a profound inner strength. Instead of being tossed about by the waves of emotion, you learn to ride them, acknowledging your feelings without letting them dictate your actions. This ability to remain centered allows you to navigate relationships with grace, avoiding unnecessary drama and misunderstanding. You become less reactive, which in turn creates a more stable emotional environment, both for yourself and those around you. The more you practice patience, the more you free yourself from emotional turmoil. In moments of stress or conflict, the initial urge to react may be strong, but as you cultivate this virtue, you start to recognize that true strength lies in restraint. By allowing yourself time to process your emotions, you create space for rational thought, helping you make decisions that align with your values rather than knee-jerk reactions that may lead to regret. Moreover, building patience and self-discipline enhances your overall sense of inner calm. You become less affected by external events learning to respond with intention rather than emotion. This shift not only improves your personal relationships, but also positively impacts your professional life and pursuit of personal goals. With greater patience, you're more likely to persist through challenges, maintaining focus on long-term objectives rather than getting sidetracked by immediate frustrations or distractions. In a world that often glorifies instant gratification, developing these virtues sets you apart. You begin to understand that the most valuable rewards come from sustained effort and thoughtful engagement, rather than quick fixes or fleeting moments of validation. By committing to patience and self-discipline, you cultivate a lifestyle rooted in resilience and purpose, where every action is guided by your higher principles rather than temporary emotions. Ultimately, this journey toward building patience and self-discipline empowers you to lead a life that's more aligned with your values and aspirations. You become a master of your own mind and emotions, able to navigate life's ups and downs with grace. The strength you develop through this process not only enhances your relationships, but also paves the way for personal growth and fulfillment in all areas of your life. Number 10. Elevating your dignity and value. Ultimately, choosing to ignore someone when necessary serves to elevate your dignity and self-worth. By practicing silence and setting clear boundaries, you not only transform how others perceive you, but more importantly, how you perceive yourself. This act of self-assertion sends a powerful message. You recognize your inherent value and will not compromise it for anyone's approval or attention. As you engage in this practice, your confidence begins to blossom. You start to understand that your worth is not contingent on external validation or the constant presence of others. Instead, it comes from within, rooted in your character, values, and the integrity with which you navigate relationships. This realization is liberating. It frees you from the need to seek approval or to cater to the whims of others you become secure in the knowledge that you are enough just as you are. This newfound self-assurance radiates outward, naturally attracting those who respect and value you. When you carry yourself with dignity and confidence, you become magnetic. 
others are drawn to your strength, recognizing that you won't tolerate anything less than mutual respect and appreciation. Your boundaries become a reflection of your self-worth, signaling to the world that you value your time, energy, and emotional health. Moreover, elevating your dignity fosters healthier interactions. When you respect yourself, you set a standard for how you expect to be treated. This not only benefits your relationships, but also cultivates an environment where genuine connections can flourish. You are no longer engaged in dynamics that drain your energy or compromise your self-esteem. Instead, you find yourself surrounded by individuals who appreciate your presence and reciprocate your respect. As you continue to practice this elevation of dignity, you also develop a deeper sense of self-awareness. You become attuned to the qualities that truly matter to you in relationships and the values you hold dear. This clarity empowers you to make choices that align with your authentic self rather than conforming to external pressures or expectations. You learn to walk away from interactions that don't serve you, knowing that doing so is not a loss, but an affirmation of your worth. In this journey, you cultivate resilience. The ability to remain steadfast in your self-assurance, even in the face of rejection or indifference, strengthens your emotional core. You no longer fear the absence of validation. Instead, you embrace it as a sign of your independence and self-respect. You understand that real connections will thrive in an atmosphere of mutual appreciation, where both parties recognize and uplift each other's value. Ultimately, elevating your dignity and self-worth is a continuous practice. It requires self-reflection, emotional discipline, and a commitment to honoring your own needs and boundaries. Yet, the rewards are profound. As you grow in confidence and self-respect, you create a life filled with meaningful relationships and experiences that reflect your true self. You become a beacon of strength and authenticity, inspiring others to recognize their own worth and engage with you on a deeper level. Choosing silence isn't about distancing yourself from others. It's about cultivating emotional strength and self-respect. By stepping back, you take control of your emotions, reinforce your independence and gain clarity about the relationships in your life. Embracing these stoic principles allows you to engage with the world from a place of inner strength and authenticity. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Have you noticed a shift in how others respond when you assert your limits? How has creating space in your relationships impacted your life? Share your experiences in the comments below and let's continue learning and growing together. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content on stoicism and personal growth. Thank you for watching.